team. We have uh, Prashant Kanal, who is an engineer at Kazing, uh, myself, who work at uh, Kazing, and we have a third uh, person, David, who is at an undisclosed location at the moment, and we have him on Skype, and he's going to help us because we are going to show some uh, interesting things. So what we did was we went to Toys R Us and we bought this uh, radio control truck and we removed all the uh, radio control related pieces from the truck and we put a tiny Raspberry Pi on the back. And the idea was to extend the range of the radio signal from a few feet to the entire internet. So we wanted to connect the Pi to the web and then based on the data, based on the control signal that we get through the Pi, uh, drive the uh, truck. Hey David, can you hear us? If you can hear us, can you touch your nose? Okay, <laughs> very good. So David is uh, connected to the public internet and so is this Pi. So the first thing we are going to try is we'll try to light up the lights on the front of the truck. Can you try to do that for us? Very cool, so the light is on, and what he's using there is Safari on the iPhone. So this is a browser-based app, he just turned on and off uh, the light. Now can you uh, turn the wheels left and right? Okay, can you spin the wheels? Very cool, okay. Now I'm going to put it down, can you try to drive it forward a little bit? Very cool, and back. Excellent. So we wanted to give a little information. Very cool. Uh, we attached the Pi to the back. There were a couple of problems, a couple of challenges we had to solve. First one was the battery. So it carries its own little uh, battery. It's a, a cell phone charger uh, battery. The truck itself has a separate battery that helps it uh, travel back and forth. Uh, it has a Wi-Fi card, a tiny dongle, that allows it to connect to, a, to our server, and we are going to talk about that in a moment. Um, and we have the uh, GPIO controlling three things. The first one is the lights in the front, second one turning the wheels left and right, and the third one is uh, moving the truck, propelling it forward uh, and backward. And here is the uh, uh, Pi a little uh, closer. So how is this all uh, working? We took the Pi, we put Wheezy uh, on it, we put the Oracle JVM, and we used, used the uh, Pi4J uh, for, to access the uh, general purpose input output uh, uh, data. Here, primarily, we are sending data to the truck, but there is nothing that would prevent us from getting data back as well. So one thing that we have been thinking about is getting the uh, ca camera uh, module onto it, so we see on the re uh, re uh, remote control where the truck is going. The technology that we are using is a HTML5 WebSocket powered by Kazing, the company that we work for. Kazing has an enterprise grade, high performance, very secure, very scalable, very low latency WebSocket server. For those of you who are not familiar with HTML5 WebSocket, the idea is that now the browser has the ability to have a, establish a permanent connection to a server, to a WebSocket gateway, and send messages back and forth very, very quickly. So the way we connected the browser running on the phone to the truck that's sitting here is through the public internet is with the help of the Kazing WebSocket gateway and a so-called message broker. In the world of enterprise messaging, JMS, a message broker is a very common uh, concept. The idea is that uh, we have a pop sub model. Uh, in our case, the phone is publishing data, turn on the light, turn left, turn right. Uh, those messages are sent through the web with the help of the WebSocket gateway all the way to a message broker and then the message broker routes those messages to anybody who's interested in that message who has subscribed to it. So in our case, it's the Pi sitting on the truck that is receiving these messages. So over the public internet, we are controlling the truck using a web client, an HTML5 web client. We are controlling some Java code running on the Pi and eventually we control uh, the truck that is sitting there. The source code is available on uh, GitHub. Raspberry Pi controls the motor board, which, uh, which can independently control the, <coughs> the motor that can turn the car right and left, or also the, the back motor which can, turn, which can move the car forward and backward. So based on this, you just need to send the high signal and low signal to that pin, and that's all it's about. So, so you, you, you uh, put your own uh, 
controllers. Yeah, that's right. That's right. The server that we are talking to, that the Pi is connected to, and that his phone was connected to, is sitting on the East Coast. So any message that was sent to the truck crossed the continent twice, once back and once uh, forward.